2009, the uh, re recession uh, hit the dairy industry especially hard. And um, so in the middle of 2009, I was having a meeting with uh, um, our banker. And um, so we were discussing the tough times and the, the low pricing, milk pricing, and you know, uh, uh, trying to uh, figure out a strategy at what we were gonna do to make it through the, the recession and the, the tough, tough milk economy. And so we were just about done with our meeting and uh, we, uh, he got up to leave and he was, he was actually halfway out the door and I told him I've been getting calls from all over the United States, people wanting to buy some of our property for solar. I says, hey, I've been thinking about just doing this thing myself and uh, what do you think about that? Obviously, if my banker's not interested, I was gonna give up the thought of considering doing any solar. So I stopped him in his tracks and he says, you know what, we've recently began a green energy department here within Robo Bank and we're interested in doing some of these green energy projects uh, on ag. I signed a contract in March 2010 with SPG Solar to install this four acre solar site which includes 3,240 panels. It's, it has reduced our electricity bill by 75%. It produces 75% of our needs. At this point in time, obviously, um, it's, it's, it's paying its way. There's a little bit of cash flow average at the end of the month, not a lot, but uh, I'm most excited about the fact that it will pay itself off in about seven years and and after that then is of course is when uh, the savings will be huge in answering the question of advice that I would give to uh, to uh, other farmers or dairymen is that um, the, the system, for me, the system had to pay for itself. Uh, it's nice, you know, everybody feels good about producing green electricity and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. But for a business uh, decision to actually install a, a, a site as, as large as this, it just have to, has to pay its way. So, um, which, is, which is what was most important for me. And, uh, 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 a person just has to, you know, do his homework, uh, look at all the incentives that are available, uh, follow, a, a, find a very good contractor that can help you with the numbers and uh, the costs and, and the returns and, and the incentives that are available. But uh, if the numbers work, which is, which is what, what happened for me, uh, it's, it's, it's really a wonderful project. So this electric meter here that I'm pointing to shows a, an arrow pointing to the left. Whenever it's pointing to the left, that means the solar system is producing um, more electricity than what our needs are. So when that happens, then the solar electricity gets used up by the dairy and then the excess goes back out to the grid for the utility company to sell. Uh, and then the squares that are making up the line that goes to the arrow are lining up quickly, so which means we're making uh, quite a bit of, of excess electricity. 